Hey everybody! Ah! Whoa! <laughs> what was that? Um, that's a blooper, that's what that is. Hey everybody, Jamie Lee here from Birdtrix and I wanted to show and go over today our three toy mystery bundles, show you what to expect from our mystery toy bundles and explain how they work. Also ah! show you some demonstrations or examples about the sizes of toys in comparison to the size of birds. Now to give you a little bit of understanding, I have Jinx here today. He's a blue-throated macaw, so he's a bit smaller than your, um, if you wanna be up there and do my hair probably, yeah. Uh, he's a bit smaller than the <laughs> more common macaws like the blue and gold, the scarlets, um, any hybrids from them. Of course, the green wing and the hyacinths get way up there. For reference, he is around 750 to 800 grams. So for those of you that know grams fairly well, that's about eight sun conures. <laughs> um, okay, so our three toy bundles. I'm really excited about these because they are mystery toy bundles. Not only are they mystery toys every single month for you, you don't know what's coming in the box, but neither does your bird. And that's what keeps it interesting. I found that early on when I wanted to order toys for my birds, I just wanted a company that would send me a box of toys within my budget and just send them to my door and surprise me. Uh, my birds are not very, very picky with, with toys. Um, and so that was something that could work for me. Also, it made sure that I was giving them variety because a lot of people get stuck on offering the same toy over and over and over again because their bird does tend to like it instead of offering a little bit more variety and venturing out and getting the bird to like more than just that one toy. So I thought that this was a great program to encourage variety in the toy selection for your bird and encourage independence and confident birds where they are learning to self entertain. So our three bundle mystery toy boxes are a combination of foraging toys and chunky toys that your birds can simply destroy. Now you can get these in the size small, medium, or large. Now I want to preface or give this disclaimer about toy size. The larger you go, the more long lasting they are. I won't say that really with Jinx because nothing lasts long with him. Um, but say you have a Sun Conure, you could still get them the large size toys and just expect them to last a lot longer because it's gonna be harder for those small beaks to break through those coconut shells and other things. Now, the smaller toys you get, the easier it's gonna be for them to destroy. So. I want to say size doesn't matter in the respect of I have birds from Sun Conyers all the way to Macaws and I order all types of toys and I give them the option to play with every single size. Now this is really fun and I've learned to bundle my toy sizes together for a lot more variety and play for my birds. So it's something that works for me and I hope that it's a tip or a trick that can work for you too. I don't think anyone wants to look at your bum. Thank you. Now I'm gonna show you some examples of our three toy bundle sizes. This is an example of one of our small size toys. You're already going for it. It's really cute, it's called our Birdie Bouquet. It's adorable, we also have this in a large size, which I will show you later. Um, if you check out our five toy bundles, you'll get to see a variety of sizes too, and I'll go over some of the other toys that we offer so you get to see this in the large size as well. Um, as you can see, my birds are used to playing with all sizes. So your macaws may enjoy this as well, um, but that's our small. Okay, thanks bud. Not what I was expecting. All right, this is probably one of my favorite toys in our line, and this is the medium sized toy. It's obviously a foraging toy, as you can see, because it opens up and you can stuff things in there. Um, Hopefully it's reusable. So this would be reusable for your small birds because they wouldn't be able to destroy it as fast. For Jinxie, not really reusable. And this is one of our larger toys. Also one of my birds' favorites. It kind of reminds me of the game Jenga and it's another foraging type toy. As you can see, once you really get in there, you can put stuff inside. Your bird is automatically gonna usually go for those things and you can entice them with some fun stuff inside. So. Okay, yeah. this is not a demo. We can demo later. Um, as you can see, as Jinx is pointing out, at the top it is made of a coconut husk and there is a hole in there and then some fun textures for them to pull out, which is what Jinx went for first. This is our exclusive toy, except I promise it's a lot prettier and more intact when you get it. 
I accidentally gave it to my birds already, so it's kind of somewhat destroyed. Um, I went and tried to retrieve it from the aviary, but as you can see, it's, uh, it's already kind of had a beating. So our exclusive toy is a toy that you won't find anywhere else, online or in stores. We're really excited about it. And this will come randomly in your mystery toy boxes. Also, you will be getting our kebabs. Now we have kebabs in a variety of different sizes. This is one of my bird's favorite toys because it's nice and soft, so all of them can destroy it, feel like they had a job well done for the day. These are examples of kebabs that I pulled out of my bird's aviaries. This is the one that's the only one that was somewhat intact. <laughs> and these are the three others I pulled. Literally, these are my birds. Ultimate favorite. Um, this is actually what it's supposed to look like, and there's a few different varieties. If you look at our product images, you'll see that there's some that are colorful that are come in the small size, some in the large size, and some in the medium. Um, these are great, and these are soft. And now we look at these as chunky and foraging toys because the wood is so soft, you can push sunflower seeds or your bird's favorite things into here. You could even dig out a little bit of this if you needed to, to be able to hide something in there. These are really great toys and get um, your bird's beak moving and using and make the small beaks even feel like they're ferocious. So some of the many reasons that I developed selling my own toys was because I was looking for very safe toys. Now, no toy can be 100% safe. However, I wanted that 99.9% .9 safety um, verdict within my own toy line. So this is what helped me source these toys. I wanted toys made out of natural materials. You will see that our toys are made out of coconut shells, oyster shells, wood. We only use veggie dyes, um, veggie tanned leather. Everything is completely natural and comes from nature, which is so exciting for me. One of the problems I was having with toy lines that are really popular today are bells. Now my birds happen to get really hormonal over bells because they will literally find that little inner part of the bell and regurgitate on it, striking hormones up year round and it was just such a pain, not to mention the noise was really obnoxious. So I wanted to make sure that I provided toys that didn't include metal or things that could trigger a hormonal behavior. Now obviously some birds get a little bit more nesty than others and can make a nest out of anything, but honestly I wanted to provide toys that they could destroy and have fun with and you learn to self-entertain but also be completely safe. So some of the examples of our toys, this is Bondi's favorite, it's called our fan. It is one of her favorite, it has um, corn husks in it, it has pieces of wood and veggie tanned leather, lots of oyster shells down here, and you can see it has some rope in it as well to keep it all intact. All of our natural materials just make these fun and safe and yet still colorful and appealing to us as people picking out toys for our birds. So I love the idea of providing basically a mystery every single month to not only you and your bird. This is also one of my favorites and it's one of our smaller toys. It's a tiny little coconut with holes in it and they just get started on these fun textures and colors and get to pull it apart and find out what's inside. And then it's something that you can continue to fill on your own with either pieces of paper and stuff wrapped in it or whatever you like. This is another fun one. I call it the jellyfish, but it's not actually called that. But this one is super awesome. It makes noise when they play with it. Again, has the coconut, so it is does take a little bit longer to destroy, but this is a really, really fun, interesting one as well. I'm sure Jinx is dying to demo all of these for you guys. Now these textures are some of my favorites. Even my Toucan Rocco likes this because he can pull the stuffing out and have a lot of fun with this. It's also easily a foraging toy because you can pull these back and hide things in them. You can also pull these apart and hide things up in here. So these are awesome foraging toys that can last a much longer time if you can find ways to reuse them. Here's another one kind of made of the same sort of stuff. These are so much fun. And again, you're looking at variable sizes but you can always order up, order down, or order a little bit of everything and see what size of toy your bird actually prefers versus what you think it prefers. Here's another smaller one. Again, it has the, coke, or the um, corn husks 
and then the woven basket that they can peel apart. And I told you guys I would show you the example of the big bouquet. So this is the little one versus the large. I just think these are adorable. Now, these are great preening toys. So if you've never heard of a preening toy, it's basically where they can get these fun textures like they would be preening something. My doves love this. Uh, all my parrots love this and it's a great foraging toy because you can literally put things in the basket So it's a really really fun one again. It comes in a variety of sizes This is the drastic size from small to large But I absolutely love this toy and so do my birds and it looks pretty hilarious when it's completely <laughs> um, Torn apart <laughs> So since these three toy bundles are mystery boxes, we do try to get you different toys each and every month. Now, obviously, eventually there's gonna be some repeats, especially with our exclusive toy and our kebabs, because those only come in so many varieties. But we try to make these as fun and interesting as possible. Now, if you get a toy that you really wanna see repeated, feel free to special order and ask us, and we will try to get that in stock for you and send it out. We can do custom boxes if you ask us to, but we try to keep to our mystery toy bundle as well as our five toy bundle. So check out our different bundle options and see which one is best for you. Now, the reason that our three toy bundles include both both foraging and chunky toys is because we not only want your bird to learn to forage, to look for things and use its mind and be mentally engaged inside of its enclosure the entire day, but we also want your bird to trim its beak itself and get that beak moving and tearing apart things. Um, these are all just parts of teaching your bird to be a confident, self-entertaining bird that isn't dependent on you for stimulation all the time. We want a bird that can be content in the cage or in the aviary uh, to play and destroy and do what birds are meant to do. Do we need to get you a toy? Would you like to pick one? You wanna pick one? Which one would you want? Can I pick one for you? What about this one? <laughs> So as you can see, I don't jump to the large toys for my macaw. I actually like to give him the small to medium. Um, this is so that he can hold them in his feet, he can play with them on play stands a little bit easier, and so on and so forth. However, Jinx can also play with the giant size toys, which we have in our five toy bundles. <laughs> If you're still confused about what size to get your bird, we do have a sizing chart in our product image description. So go ahead and check out our product images and we will give you a basic guideline to follow to find the right size toy bundle for your bird. If you guys are already on our mystery toy bundles, please make sure to tag us on social media. We love to see you guys and your boxes and we love to see you opening your boxes. Please tag us and tell us which one is your bird's favorite. Right, pups? Oh. <laughs> Can you wave bye? Wave bye bye. Bye everybody. Oh. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>